um, let's do a little um, in this short video uh, I'll try to, to draw on the screen and explain to you how we can calculate um, the delta E values for a redox uh, reaction and based on the sign we can decide then uh, if it's a favorable a thermodynamically favorable reaction or not so let me try to share the whiteboard Okay, so mm, might be all I can do at this point. Anyway, it's not perfect. Let me move myself a little bit. All right, so um, let's see. Let's deal with a few reactions. Okay, Th these are the carbon. Uh, so this will be the carbon. Um, oxidation states that we're going to be dealing with in, in biochemistry. So, for example, if we have, um, you know, I'll write them as a reduction. If we have a hydroxycarbon, okay, uh, plus this would be the half reaction, two electrons, so that gets reduced to a hydrocarbon. And I'm skipping all the protons here for, for simplicity. Now, the E value uh, for, for that the standard reduction potential is it varies but it, let's say it's plus 100 millivolts so that's one half cell okay a half cell let's look at all the oxidations um, the next one we have a carbonyl carbon when that gets reduced it will give a hydroxycarbon and the the value for that is about minus 250 millivolts so these are the kinds of information the, the, the pieces of information you're going to get and then you will be asked to to couple two half cells and then make a conclusion is it favorable or unfavorable right so we have one more the carboxyl carbon that's a negative charge if that gets reduced, it will give you a carbonyl carbon. Okay. And that is at about, let's say, minus 500. And these values were seen in, um, in um, um, the previous slides that we had done. Okay. All right. So let's pick um, two. Okay. Let's say we want a couple a reduction oxidation. Let's assume we want to couple uh, the reduction of a carboxyl carb of a carboxyl carbon to a carbonyl carbon. So we're gonna let's see. I can move probably. Yeah, that's all right. So we have so we write first what needs to be reduced, what will be reduced in our scheme. So so that will be. So this is our reference. Okay, and then we have. The carboxyl carbon and that will be reduced to carbonyl carbon and then we have to find something else that uh, uh, does exactly i mean it, that will get oxidized so pick any one of those two let's say um the very first one so we're gonna couple the oxidation of the hydrocarbon okay, to the hydroxycarbon so we'll write it like this okay and that will give rise to um, as I said to a height it will be oxidized to a hydroxycarbon and it will be like that so the question is what's the delta E value for that to get that we'll subtract the E value of whatever gets reduced. So this was the last, this was the third reaction here. So that would be minus 500. Okay. And from here, we're going to subtract the E value of whatever got um, uh, oxidized. So that will be the very first one. So we write plus 100, right? I want you to notice a, a couple things here, or actually one thing. Well, 
you subtract whatever it is and you stick where whatever gets oxidized it's actually value without reversing it even though the reaction itself of course it's a reverse uh, from what it is written as a half cell okay so that then will give us a minus 600 uh, millivolts and the question is is it favorable no because it's got this negative sign so delta e to be thermodynamically favorable favorable has to be a positive sign so that's the difference between delta e and delta z and um just from the sign we know it's 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 uh, it's unfavorable and the 600 millivolts is actually quite a bit uh, uh, unfavorable that's that's a lot so the conclusion is coupling the reduction of a carboxyl carb of a carboxyl carbon to the oxidation of a, of a hydrocarbon is not a favorable reaction and this is how we calculate it we'll do one more example and and again the point is that how you make uh, the, the the calls of what to put in there you start with a reduction and from that the e value of whatever gets reduced you subtract the e value of whatever gets oxidized without reversing any signs 